So today is November 11th, Veterans Day. And this morning I had the opportunity to go up to the Cove at the Billy Graham Training Center. It's about three miles from Swannanoa. A lot of you know that Billy Graham is from this area. He lived in Montreat, so his presence here in the Swannanoa Valley is massive. If you go up through the Cove, there's an adjacent property called Camp Cedar Cliff. And Camp Cedar Cliff is allowing a group of people to come in and build tiny houses for those that have been affected by the storm. They're called Cabins for Christ, and they're doing an amazing job. The operation is just incredible. People are working, giving it their all, and what they're doing, I, I was blown away by it. But I was able to catch up to Pastor Cunningham. He and his wife are from West Virginia, and they're here donating their time and their labor uh, to try to help some of these people get back on their feet. So I just wanted you to take a listen to his story and what they've been doing up there, which is absolutely incredible. Me and my wife came down here with a two week commitment and we're just over halfway through that. We'll be here till Friday. There's been over a hundred families helped with Cabins for Christ. We've, we've had 150 people here on one day at, uh, volunteering to build these uh, tiny homes. I mean, God has been good. God has provided a lot for us. And uh, it's almost every time we have a need, God shows up and there, there that needs met. But the main thing is that we are giving people in this community hope. There was a man that sat right here at this table with me the other day. He told me how he survived the flood. He is a retired police officer from this county, Sheriff's Department. He had sat on his house rope and he watched people float by that he could not save. And he watched bodies float by. It just broke me. I, I went down there and set my motor home and, and cried like a baby for about a half hour when he left here. The man had hope. We we also have a 74-year-old veteran that is dying of stage four cancer, and he received a home yesterday. It, it's a ministry about giving hope back to back to a people that has been devastated, back to to a, a place that looks like a bomb went off everywhere you go. It is a a miracle to see what is going on down here already. Watching people come from all over the country and rally around us right here in the Swannanoa Valley in Western North Carolina is, it's the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. Like I said, there's heartache everywhere, but to see the people come that has our back and not gonna let us fall, Pastor Cunningham is 100% correct. That's all you can describe it as, as a miracle. It makes you see the world different and it changes your perspective on about everything. But like he said, they have a hundred cabins done and that's a ton, but there's still so much work to do because there's 641 houses left on their list to rebuild. Just tiny homes of people that are signed up. And that's the heartbreaking part, but at the same time, we know that we have good people here. We have good people on our side and that's encouraging. Even though this was a mostly good news video, I do wanna leave you with good news. And the good news is gonna come tomorrow. I have an announcement to make that we've been working on since about day five and we have put so much into it and I have been holding off on my end and I cannot wait to tell you uh, the news that I have. I just can't wait to see what we can all do together and, and where it goes and, and what it's all about. But I love you guys. I just want to leave with a little cheers to the veterans. Thank you for your sacrifices and all that y'all have done. We love you all. Keep on fighting and tune in tomorrow.